Oh hey Spirited Seekers, I am sinking my teeth into a little bit of a tricky topic today because we've likely all experienced heartbreak and I wanted to speak to how we can reframe breakups into blessings. Now, I know all too well the grief, the heartache, the brokenness that can sometimes come from letting a relationship go. And if this is a really current theme for you, I acknowledge where you're at. I so honor your courage to be in it. If you're avoiding it, if you're dissociating from it, if you're pretending like it's all good, it's all fine, then I want you to come and play in the cracking open because the world needs you cracked open. I just read from a card this morning off, of course, that Rebecca Campbell deck that you should bless the thing that broke you open. And so a break up is literally named that, right? Like it has this name of cracking open. Because in my opinion, if we're not cracked open, what the fuck are we even doing here? I know for me, I only want to live as my most embodied, fullest, truest, highest expression of self as much as possible. And for me, within the confines of a relationship that wasn't right or that wasn't in full integrity or alignment, I wasn't able to do that. I was slowly suffocating on my own soul's untruth by listening to the inner whispers, but then not doing anything about it. And so if you're in a space of grieving, of moving through a breakup or heartbreak, one, as I said before, I really see you and I acknowledge your courage and bravery for stepping forth into this space. It is not for the faint hearted. If you're here to really anchor the fucking light and bring in a new paradigm, birth a new world, then I'm with you. It's, a, it's an enlivening journey and one where we can't dismiss what's being called of us. We have to be beckoned forward into our soul's truth to be able to express the medicine that we've come here with. And sometimes, unfortunately, that means moving through uh, grief, of course, that's a part of the process, but uh, having a relationship end. And so how we can reframe this piece is not through like spiritual bypassing the pain of it. I don't want you to think that I'm just going to be like, it's the best thing to happen for you because I'm like, I don't even know, over a year and a half and a bit. Oh, maybe two years. Um, yeah, almost two years from my really long term relationship ending. And now I'm able to fully integratively say that yes, it was one of the best things, the most blessed thing to happen for me to meet more of my true self, to meet more of who I am so that I could magnetize relationships, friendships, experiences, my business into full form, into its deepest expression of unconditional love that I was not yet able to do without surrendering to the process of heartbreak. So this journey is really messy and that's magical. That's fucking awesome. Welcome to being a human. I don't want you to tidy up your grief and put it in a nice little neat box and then store it in 2020 or 2019. This breaking open that happens through grief is something that will then be with you forever. So really, really use this time as a space and an opportunity to meet more of who you really are. Learn yourself. Take the time to rest, to sleep, to play, to dance. Music was something that really carried through my heartbreak, which was being able to actually shift grief on an alchemical level. Like emotions are stored in the body. If we have an ex a heightened emotion and we suppress it, the chemical and the hormone of that emotion is literally stored and locked in our cells, which is why so many of us are walking around just numbed out and pigging out on food or watching Netflix or so dissociating into addiction because we don't want to feel our feelings. I want to give you permission to know that it is safe to be all of you. It is safe to feel those feelings and it is more than okay for you to take the time that you need to experience the depth of those feelings because they have gifts, right? 
Now, I don't want to just sit here in front of you spinning words because you might be like, that's well and great, Emily. Good for you to come to a place two years later where you feel like it was a blessing. But what I'm going to invite you to do now is to meet the most deep, true part of yourself. In the quiet moments where you most wish that he or she or they were around. In the quiet moments where you really feel that pain of being alone or being unsupported. This is your invitation to surrender to something even bigger. Not just yourself, but those mystical and mysterious forces that are always working to make magic happen for you. Even when it feels like the world is against you and that things aren't working and it's super easy to become the victim of it all because it feels fucking hard, I get it. Those moments are your medicine. Those are the gifts. Meeting resistance means that you are meeting more of yourself. So when you have those moments of like just aching ache hand on heart hand on belly hand on womb hand on anywhere that feels supportive and i want you to breathe into it that's all that is all there is to do ever in those moments when it feels really hard and really isolating i want you to take the sacred pause and breathe all this does is take away all the story and the narrative of spinning it over in your head and listening and dropping in to the deeper part of you that knows what the truth is. The part of you that is not logic, that is not rational. The part of you that is soul, spirit, truth can never be really broken. Is infinite and unconditional and has access to being loved and supported alone and by others when you let them in. A breakup for me was the most divine invitation to coming home to my body, to coming home to myself. And I know those are kind of vague, not tangible words to use, but if you do this, if you pause and be with that pain, you will understand what I mean soon enough. I promise you. Your breakup can be one of the best and biggest blessings that you've ever experienced if you let it. If your story is that it's the worst thing to ever happen to you or it's hard or it's suffering and painful and wrong and it shouldn't have happened or it happened the way you didn't want it to, continuously come back to your innate power as the creator of your stories, as the writer of your stories? How do you want this time of your life to really be about when you zoom out into the grand perspective? Who are you becoming in this chrysalis of heartbreak? Because I bet that they are so fucking beautiful. <laughs>